Welcome back to our video series on thermal barcode printers. In today's episode, we'll be discussing an important topic, how to perform a factory reset on a ZT411 model. But first, let's understand why you might need to do this. A factory reset can be necessary for a variety of reasons. It helps resolve software related issues, clears any custom settings or configurations, and restores the printer to its original factory state. So if you're encountering persistent errors, experiencing connectivity problems, or simply want a fresh start with a default setting, a factory reset is often the best way to go. Now let's dive into a step-by-step -step process of performing a factory reset on a ZT411. Please note that this process may vary slightly between firmware versions or in fact different models, so consult your user manual for specific instructions. On the LCD display of the printer, press the menu button. On the next display, select settings. And on the following display, at the very bottom, you will see restore defaults. Press that. The options now are for you to restore the printer entirely, restore just the network, or restore to the last save settings. Select the first option, Restore Printer. At this point, the printer will give you a warning that you are about to restore all of the printer's settings, and are you sure? Click the tick to acknowledge. The printer is now going through a full initialization, and after that, you have done the restore. And there you have it. You have successfully performed a factory reset on the ZT411. Remember, this process restores the printer to its original factory settings, erasing any custom configurations you've made. Therefore, if you're running this printer as a direct thermal printer, it's likely the printer has been reset to its thermal transfer mode, so you will need to change it back to direct thermal. See one of our videos for how to do that. In the meantime, thank you for joining us today, and happy printing.